Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to be discussing my latest creation to hit the workshop, the Alta Pipeline. Now, like I mentioned before, this is a collaborative project done with Sheppy5 and Yuli Build. So I had the honor of working with them. They're great creators. And together we came and created this. Also, I'd like to thank the Discord community that I've created, the followers and subscribers that I have to my Discord channel. Uh, link is above and pretty much the community went and bug diagnosed this and tested this creation so i would like to thank all of those who participated and detected the bugs and made this a successful little project so without further ado let's begin i did have my little video which was kind of a teaser but what i would like to show you is right here is the pipeline pumping station so that's where we are right now and as you can see here we have a pipeline access building i have a truck nearby it but there are 12 other locations on the map such as here that have the pipeline access building or substation if you will and there's 12 others scattered around the map i will not show you all of them but you guys are free to determine and find out which ones are most useful to you now this was coded by Sheppy, and it works pretty well so the idea behind this whole project in addition to this cool looking building and the little substations is that it is a useful add-on so say you have your uh pipeline or say you have over here that kind of oil deposit so you have the altar rig or at whatever rig you're using and you find out that you know you want to sell the oil but you don't quite want to have to truck it out in trailers all the time that's where the pipeline comes in so what you do is you will fill up the pipeline with fluid or with whatever of these uh, products you'd like so oil jet fuel or diesel that's what you can put into the pipeline and you could extract it at another location so maybe you'd want a port location to load up a tanker and you can have it continuous so what that means is if you're pumping into your your uh, from a massive tanker into the pipeline you could extract it from the other end you don't you, it, the pipeline only stores 5,000 liters so the idea wasn't for the pipeline to be a storage system that's gonna come potentially later but the pipeline serves as a transportation system. Even the Alter Rig has had an update where we added these buttons here that sends the diesel to the pipeline, jet fuel and oil to the pipeline. So you obviously need the pipeline add-on to do this. And we're gonna test this out later, but I did wanna mention that the mod or the add-on is integrated into various systems. So we're gonna so see that later. Now back to the pipeline uh, pumping station. We do have this uh, pipe testing or pipe inspection truck here, which we're gonna take a look at in a second. But pretty much all you need to do to get the system functioning is press a button up here in the control room. So before that, you'll see here that all these pipes have a red light. And all, that, all that's saying is that the oil pipeline is offline. And over here, it'll be for the jet fuel. So jet fuel pipeline offline. Now there's two ways to activate it. And I did explain that in the add-on kind of description. You could use the shortcut or you could press this button. So if we press this enable all pipelines, all of them turn green here. And if you take a look down here, they're all green now here too. So it's saying that the jet fuel pipeline is online and all that good stuff. So with that in mind, now that the pipeline is online, we get to test it out by putting stuff into it. So if we come here, we can see that technically right now there's zero, 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 but our system is online. So like I said, first step was to turn that on. Now, what you can do is obviously you could you don't have to use this testing truck you could use any pump truck or anything but let's try oil out so right now it says we have 1300 or almost 1400 liters in the oil tank so we could put this in out press this and attach it to here 
Now it takes a second to register just because the way the coding is working, but in a second here you should start to increase this number. And of course you see that this is pumping and this is pumping as well. So give it a little bit of time. And if we do this here and type in status, you could see that all these are enabled. And as you can see here, it jumped up to 62 so and 125. So the value is increasing currently in the oil pipeline. It just isn't a live updating number or rather instantaneously updating number. But you could see that there is uh, the oil being taken out of this tank. So that goes in, that's going in there. And we can now travel to our other location, which is here where we have a truck waiting for us. So if I teleport here, oh, we're on top of the truck. Now this may be a glitch of the system just because this building did not despawn. But if we go to a very far one, like right here, because we've turned on, we've pressed the button to enable the system. So if we hop into this building here, you'll see the light is green. So it is online. And that's hence why if you press status here, it says that they're all online. And now when we make our way back to where we were up here, it may have reset and the green light is showing. So if we come in here, no, it's not. That's okay. So we know our status is online. Or we could also hit um, enable and that's going to turn them green anyways. And then if we hit status, it'll just uh, confirm everything's online. So you could use the shortcut to enable everything or you could use the button. The system was running just because the light wasn't on. Anyway, in here, our little pumping uh, outpost or pipeline access building or substation we have our pipeline ends the diesel jet and oil over here we got some pumps just in case the truck you came with doesn't have a pump built into it you could actually use this pump to pump it out from here you could use this to go through the wall or you could just yank it in through here so either way works there's a little note here that says the pumps must be set online at the pumping station so we've done that we have it green the last thing needed now is to turn on this valve and if we come over here, we could see that we have a thousand liters right now inside the oil pipeline. And if I grab this hose, attach it to here and walk it out to this other truck I have and plug it into the oil in right here and press pump in. You could see that we're getting fluid going through the system and our oil in level is increasing and over here the oil level of the pipeline should be decreasing because now we're extracting it so one thing to note the number that gets transferred through the pipeline is gpu and cpu dependent right now i'm running my uh, obs screen recorder and a couple other things photoshop so i'm getting a bit of a drop in how much i'm transferring through that's just uh right now another kind of bug of the system but the pipeline does work and again i threw it through the wall like i plugged it out here you could go through this nice little kind of in and out section of the wall so it doesn't have to glitch through the wall but regardless that's how it works and now here is a purge system in case you end up with con cross contamination if you accidentally started filling you know jet fuel in here you're going to end up with breaking the system pretty much and here you can purge it out. Obviously, if we push this now, there's nothing happening because there's nothing in the system, but you'd plug this into here and it would in essence isolate or enable you to pump out individual fluids like the oil, the, oil, the jet and the diesel into this truck and kind of separate them out so they're no longer uh, causing a glitch in the system. Another little nice thing about this pump truck is this hose here or this uh, valve. So if I open this valve right now, it's gonna link my upper tank, which is full of oil, and my lower tank, which is, um, I guess, 
full of a little bit of oil and water, but regardless, it is going to link them together, and that oil kind of joins the system. The, it is oil in there. It's actually just uh, coated in. So if we take a look at this, the zero and jet fuel in the bottom. So that is, in essence, how it works and how, how the system is integrated. Now, if we jump back to our alter rig, I'm just going to no clip into the room here. So in here, if we turn on send fuel to pipeline, you can see we're actually sending it. So you could have kind of integration of your systems within the pipeline system. So now this alter rig is a part of the pipeline system and it's sending fuel to the pipeline, which we can extract in our trucks or at the port on a ship, whatever. So that's the gist of how the system works. Again, it's gonna save you time trucking it back and forth and all that good stuff. You can see here now that we're increasing in jet and diesel because we're pumping it in from the alter rig. So, uh, integrated system, pretty easy to use, straightforward. There are bugs. Um, if you do find any, report them to us in the Discord and we're gonna take a look at trying to fix them. But we do know that, call it the basic system, is working. So now that I've showed you how the pipeline actually works, we'll take a little kind of walking tour around just to get a feeling of the actual creation. So you have this catwalk up here. You got the different stairs coming down to the pipes down there. Got a rat generator with a uh, fuel tank behind. Obviously, the creation has infinite, infinite electricity, but if you need to charge anything up, you do have the generator, which is nice. This uh, big tank here is also a storage system, so you could pump out with a truck, like a hydrovac truck or this, like a pump in, pump out function, and directly fill up this tank if you need storage. Not a very big storage, but it does do the trick. Now, this system is an emergency shutoff. It'll disable the pipeline. And it'll actually toggle it disabled until you press the button inside the control center. So that's in case there's an emergency, you know, someone's in trouble, they could disable the whole system. So very similar to the alter rig, we have these main rooms here. This is now a security outpost or a security room. It controls the gate that's there. You could also set a code for the gate. You could have a perimeter alarm. You could lock the d building doors, all from this yellow area. Over here, we got a CCTV system. Obviously, the more screens you have, the laggier it's going to be, but you do have uh, several different cameras. And you got perimeter spotlights, compound spotlights. So in essence, at nighttime, in case, uh, you know, burglars or unsavory characters want to come and approach you, your spotlights do give a fairly good sight line and as you can see from the cameras it does look very cool at night too you could uh open the vehicle gate from here and also you could force the vehicle gate shut so if you press this it's going to start to squeeze the truck i don't want to do that but it does kind of force the doors closed in case there's an emergency you got your armory code here armory you can find the number right there we got a shower and a washroom a little bit of detail realism coffee station very important as you know a little fridge as well now up here we have our main living quarters it's a very modern layout you got our little kitchenette here and lounge area table there's the operation manager's room. It's a very small room, but it's a single room. And then you got your bunk room here for the rest of the team. So as you can tell right away, there's no, it's not uh, there's not the floor with the uh, conference room as we have on the altar rig. Anyway, up here, got our little hot tub, barbecue, and landing pad for a helipad with the RX-14 connector um, here. 
So that's one of my helicopters. It's a fairly small helicopter, the same one that spawns in the altar rig, actually. So if you want to have a quick system of getting from the altar rig to here, you could use the RX-14 helicopter and land right up here. Of course, you got a diesel tank up here for the helicopter. And the helicopter will be charged through this. So, that is the majority of the creation. Like I said, we have the little generator here. You could start it up manually. And that is it. Obviously, the emergency stops are located throughout here. And this is just, again, the building for the system. We The system itself is fairly intricate and should hopefully help you transport your oil products. Now granted, everything does despawn your far away, so it shouldn't add too much lag. This is probably the laggiest area where we are now because we have both the pipeline access building, we got the pumping station and my rig that I spawned here, so it's a little slow right now. But when you're farther away, such as the Arctic, or if we go here to the spy cakes terminal will spawn here we I guess we have left the truck here yeah we did okay so anyway here's the tanker truck and we got a nice little pipeline access building with a beautiful view of the ocean and we have them as well in the Arctic so I'll let you find them yourself but there should be a good number of them scattered around for ease of transportation as well as you can integrate them into your creations which I will explain how to do in another video. In this one we're just talking about how to get the basic pipeline system going but like we did here for the altar rig now it is integrated in the system and as we're drilling we could be pumping into the pipeline and depositing it into a crude, uh, crude carrier, a bulk material carrier and off to be sold. So, thank you for watching. Thank you again for all the Dis Discord subscribers that helped uh, find the bugs, and Sheppy5 and Yuli Build for working with me on this amazing creation. Uh, this is not my idea. Like I said in the other video, this was Sheppy5's idea, and uh, I joined in kind of as the project was getting started to give the Alta brand and add a kind of a bit of my lore and detail. So without further ado, I will say thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy this new creation and stay tuned for more. Happy Stormworksing.